Hello my fellow sniffers, my name is Marlene McCohen and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are looking for information on mustache parakeets or just found a mustache parakeet and don't know what to do, you've come to the right place because you may have my bird. Yes, I'm serious. If you're in the California area, especially the Los Angeles area, and just found a mustache parakeet and clicked on this video, my bird has been missing for a week now, longer, depending on how long this video is up, since July 3rd, and I would really appreciate it if you contact me. <laughs> my email, MarleneMcCohen at gmail, is below. His name is Picasso, this is him. I don't know where I'm gonna fit him in this video, but I just wanna let you know that I am missing him with all my heart and um, so is everybody watching this video right now. So there is a reward offered for him if you're looking for information on that bird and you wanna keep him, I will buy you a new bird. Whatever you want, just please be a good soul and give me back my bird because this bird right here is really, really missing him. She's a little fascinated by my new setup. For those of you who are my fans and you are continuously looking for updates on Picasso, I'm continuously outside with Jersey, without Jersey. I've had Jersey on the balcony screaming to try and find Picasso. When all this is over, I'm going to do a very updated video on how to find your bird. Even if I don't find my bird, which I refuse to believe that I won't, you can never give up. For those of you who have lost birds recently or ever, I know you know the pain and I want you to know that I see your messages and I feel your pain. Um, I need you guys to know that all the love and messages you're sending me are saving me you guys are offering to do so much and i appreciate it if you are not following me on instagram then you probably don't have as many updates in fact if you don't look at youtube from your computer then this may be the first you're hearing of the fact that picasso is missing I thought when I posted in the community tab that you guys would all get alerted, but I guess those of you who are cell phone users get alerted. So, um, yes, Picasso is missing. I need help to find him. I'm doing updates on Instagram TV, which is IGTV, which you can just see from regular Instagram if you follow me at Marlene McCohen. Um, I haven't posted this. He went missing on July 3rd. I haven't posted any videos to YouTube because clearly I have to focus on finding him. I wasn't going to spend any time inside on those first few days. We had a heat wave. Our electricity went out for 24 hours. Thank you, LADWP. Um, so it's been really rough. But, you know, nothing is as bad as losing Picasso and... Um, what happened was we were going to have a 4th of July party, which of course I canceled, but we decided to clean out the aviary, but after the birds were already in it. So I knew that that would make them scared, so I took all the birds out and put them in safe cages. There are cages that we have outside that are kind of like older or since been updated, so... Um, you know, that way they could still be around watching us clean because we were going to be outside for a little while and the air was nice. And I put Picasso in one nice cage that I knew he liked, actually. And when I put him in there, he was in there for about 20 minutes. And my sister didn't know he was in that cage specifically because there's so many different empty cages around. And she started moving it. And when she moved the cage on the tile or stone or whatever you would call it the gravel imagine like cobblestone it got all bouncy and he panicked in there and i heard her go oh poor picasso i didn't know you were in there and i ran to just like comfort him but i guess all the moving of the cage made a door open or like a food bowl unlatch and he flew out my backyard and um 
You guys know I promote flighted birds. I love my birds being flighted. But um, like I always said to you, it's a risk because sometimes it's just a matter of time. As you can see from this event, it wasn't a door open, it wasn't a fan, it was literally a series of unfortunate events. And it'll always be somebody else, do you know what I mean? It's like, it's like a miscommunication between two people. And those are the things that no matter how much you take care of your bird and are aware, you, you can't control, they're out of your control. So, um. A lot of my friends have been coming out to help me put up flyers, different people on different days. I love you guys. It's amazing like who reaches out and who really comes to help. I'm tired. And I'm really scared I'm not going to get him back. And um, for those of you praying and prayer chains and all the things you're doing and new accounts on Instagram. I really appreciate it. I think that a lot of you are telling me to get it on the news. I don't know. I don't really have that power, but I did write to the news channels that had written to me about the bird bandit story. If you guys want to tweet the news channels um, about this story to help me, maybe we could all... all bombard them then I will put Los Angeles local news tweets and hashtags below for those of you who are on Twitter maybe they have Instagrams too um, I know you guys love Picasso I can feel the love and Jersey is missing him terribly and I know she knows because when if you look at my Instagram you'll see like she comes out looking for him and she doesn't want to get back in the car and she calls for him and she screams and she's been depressed she's been plucking a lot and um she goes long periods of time without eating she's just sad i know i am too and um as i said in one of my instagram tv videos I feel like I'm doing so much and not enough and like when I'm inside I'm guilty when I'm outside I'm guilty when I'm inside I feel bad and then I'm not outside we have a major heat wave going on when I'm outside putting up flyers I feel good but then I realize how small I am then I'm like I need to turn to YouTube because social media is bigger than we think i've literally put flyers on every single person's door mapped out the neighborhood like taped to their door i have knocked on every door that is close to me or behind me and let them know of my bird personally we are putting flyers on poles wildlife wendy who you saw in my bird mart video she came and helped me so many good friends have come out. The bird community is incredible. This is Leo, by the way, for those of you who don't know my birds and might be new to the channel. Um, I don't know what to say except the only thing I can think of to do now is literally to get flyers to every single person's home like via the post office but it's really expensive. My friend Melanie said her dad might be able to help out with that, like mailers. Um, that's the only thing I can think of besides for the news. I'm like one person going from house to house with like one or two friends at a time. I feel like Jersey is like in the video making a plea too, but you guys just don't, you know, you guys know she doesn't like to be in the videos, but I'm working with a, I don't know. It's really hard because I had all these cool new things I wanted to do with my channel and just go get them and go get life and the team that you guys are behind me, you guys are literally my sniffer army, my parrot heroes, you guys are so strong. Some of you are writing to me that you lost your birds and I'm just like, oh, so heartbroken. I may clip all the other birds' wings so I don't have 
paranoia on top eventually I'll let them grow again but that may be something that I need to do for now my birds fly like professionals um, and I live in such a metropolitan area it's like hundreds and thousands of houses nearby you could be in any one of them so please share this I should have said this from the beginning please share this video um, share in your local Los Angeles groups mommy groups local groups hobby groups if you can I really need to find my bird the last time I lost a bird I wasn't okay for a very long time. I'm stronger now because I have you guys behind me, but I don't know. If it wasn't for you guys, I don't know what I would be doing right now. Anyway, that is all. I'm sending you my love and my heartbreak. And, um, my dog anyway guys if you're new to the channel please subscribe it's not always this gloomy or slow it's really fast fun and funny with a lot of birds and some other pets um but if you want to help just share this as much as you can in every area that you can i love you guys so much bye